Today we're going to talk about all things playground, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Ken Anderson, sales manager with the Playground Division at Kaplan Early Learning Company. Today we're going to talk about five different topics that will help you determine whether or not you're ready for a playground. Those five topics are budget, time frame, available space, age, and licensing. Cost is one of the many factors you should, you should consider when determining if you're ready for a playground. Uh, cost can be broken down into a couple different groups. Um, a small playground, which we would consider anything below 900 square feet, is going to range from 10,000 to 30,000. A medium-sized playground, which we consider to be between 900 and 1,800 square feet, is going to cost anywhere from 30 to 75,000. And a large playground, which we would consider to be anything over 1,800 square feet, is going to cost 75 to 100,000. A couple of things that can um, make those costs change is if it's a turnkey project where the playground company is installing it for you uh, versus you trying to install it yourself. Uh, other things would determine cost would be surfacing, whether you're choosing loose fill surfacing like wood mulch or rubber mulch, or solid surfacing like artificial turf or poured rubber. The choices there can greatly affect the cost, but that's a basic idea of what you can expect to spend for a playground based on your available space. If you've been thinking about purchasing a playground and you kind of want to know what the sales process is like, the first step would be really to, uh, after you've done your research and determined that you guys might be interested or might be ready, you want to reach out to a playground company and ask them for a quote. And basically, they can prepare a quote for you, typically around five to seven days for an installation quote, uh, around two to three days uh, for just a quote if you're going to install yourself. Um, once you get that quote, once you're ready and you've decided you want to, um, you want to purchase a playground, basically it's a matter of uh, signing that quote, sending that in, the playground company will order the equipment for you, and then there's a waiting period. Most playground companies do not stock their own equipment, so they're going to have to reach out to manufacturers to purchase that for you. And the waiting period can be anywhere from six weeks uh, up to four to five months, depending on the vendor. So it's a long process, so you need to make sure you have plenty of time from start to finish. Once, um, once your equipment has been ordered and it's all been received, for an installation, the playground company typically will ship that on one truck to your site. The installer will meet that truck, offload all the equipment, and begin your installation. Once they're actually into the installation process, Typically, depending on the size of your project, it could take as um, it could be as quick as two to three days or as long as two to three weeks. Again, depending on the size. Once completed, you will be left with some monthly maintenance tasks for your maintenance staff um, to preserve the life of your playgrounds. Uh, usually, labor uh, is typically a year warranty on that. Uh, but one thing that customers don't understand is that they are responsible for their own maintenance. The playground company that comes out to uh, install your playground for you is not going to be coming back once a month to do maintenance. So you need to make sure you have somebody in place to handle basic maintenance. And again, uh, they will leave you with a checklist of items for each piece of equipment you have purchased. Age is a really important factor in determining your playground needs. So if you're reaching out to someone for assistance with your playground project, you need to make sure uh, that you let them know what your age group is that you're trying to accommodate. All playground manufacturers divide their equipment up into three categories. The first is 6 to 23 months, which most commonly referred to as infant toddler. The second is 2 to 5 years, which is referred to as pre-K. And the third age group is 5 to 12 years, which is commonly referred to as school age. Uh, each of those ages have slightly different safety requirements um, that you have to follow. So you need to make sure you're telling your playground company your appropriate age group, and then they can recommend the appropriate equipment to you. Uh, also, surfacing is going to be, the type of surfacing you need is going to be dictated by what age group you have as well. So make sure you also let the playground company that's working with you know that information as well so they can make sure they're recommending appropriate things to you.
Whether or not your program is a licensed program or a non-licensed program will affect the playground company, uh, will affect their quote to you. If you're a licensed program, there's a national safety guidelines that you must follow uh, that are specific to spacing and surfacing and that type of thing. If you're not a licensed program, you're not required to follow these requirements, even though they are considered best practices, and you should probably, um, uh, we would recommend that you follow those if at all possible. But that's the difference between licensed programs and non-licensed programs. So make sure you let your playground company know which one you fall into. The uh, five factors that we just talked about, I wanna recap real quick for everybody. Uh, that are most important factors in determining whether or not you're ready for a playground are budget, time frame, available space and location, age, and licensed versus non-licensed. Again, I hope uh, what we've told you today has been helpful for those five categories in determining whether or not you're ready for a playground. Again, I'm Ken Anderson with Kaplan Early Learning Company, and uh, we hope that we've uh, provided a little bit of assistance for you in determining if you guys are ready for a playground.